Yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Yeah. How's it going? My name is Wolfhanger, and ladies and gents, we are continuing our epic storyline of Lego Harry Potter Year 6. And let's see what's next for our heroes here as we continue onwards and forward through the Lego version of the Half-Blood Prince. Of course, don't forget, guys, if you do enjoy today's video, hit that like button. That's always very, very much appreciated. What the heck is that? I like an energy drink? Mm. I don't even know what just happened. We got a creepy Voldemort face in the bottom right corner. That much I do know. Of course, don't forget, guys, as I was saying, before I guess I really interrupted myself, uh, hit that like button. Thank you guys so very much for the support. I really do appreciate that a ton. And obviously, I hope that you guys do enjoy today's episode of Lego Harry Potter. So, I'm not sure. Are we supposed to go this way? No, we're not. That's my bad. Oh, well, that was not bad. We're actually supposed to go. Okay, can I turn properly? There we go. Finally. We're actually supposed to head this way, it looks like. What's up with this? Why is that cauldron just sitting there? That, that, that looks very suspicious, isn't it? Okay, maybe eventually we'll have a way to interact with gold Lego objects. Maybe it's just that right now. We just don't have the right ability for that. Now, the other reason why I'm super excited for today's episode is because this is going to be a significant one, because we will reach 50 gold bricks. We hope we will reach 50 gold bricks uh, as we make our way through this episode, so that should be pretty exciting. I think this leads to the outside. Oh, no. It would have. We went to the right, but we turned left. Oh, no, never mind. This leads to the courtyard, I guess. Finally, we're headed to the garden. We haven't been to this side of uh, Hogwarts at all, so this should be okay. quite interesting. We have a little puzzle here. Okay, it's not really much of a puzzle, but it's a pretty nice reward at the end of that route. We also get a blue stud right here. What is happening over here? Is this a battle? Did he just inflate that guy with water? I think he did. I'm pretty sure that just happened. How can we help? There we go. Stop that, Roski. Ta-da! That's a student in peril that has been rescued by your Brilliant. What? All right. I'm pretty happy with that. This is, uh, I guess, uh, pretty massive monetary reward right there. It's kind of funny to think, like, hey, we helped him out. And he's like, here's my lunch money. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. We're not the bullies here. Sure, I'll pick him out. I think. Pretty sure. Okay, we are in a bunch of rewards. There's another one of these cultures. That is interesting. I am actually now curious about, like, how we're supposed to interact with those. But for now, it looks like we have a gardening class possibly here. So let's, uh, Stay focused on that. Let's see what's coming up next. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe there is a class, a gardening class here. This professor seems to be uh, a little bit psychotic right now. Isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, isn't it bad? bad? Okay. Yep. Bad luck to walk under stairs. Cha ching He's like... All he's thinking about is getting paid, looks like. Uh, what in the heck? Okay, this reminds me of Hellboy now. Seems like there's a big giant monster that has spawned. Okay, let's figure out how we can deal with that. Maybe we don't even have to. Maybe we can just sidestep the whole fight. And just walk to the side, it looks like. That's somewhat promising. Okay, what is this thing? Okay, so that looks like uh, some sort of like a wheat kilo or something like that. I wonder if we're supposed to use the water. We still have those like weird effects around Harry Potter with the yellow like uh, leaves. I don't know what that is. Well, ever since he drank that potion, it activated. So, whatever that was, literally seems to have created some sort of a effect on Harry Potter. But right now, I'm not even be able to tell you what that was all about. That is definitely pretty awesome. Go on ahead and collect. 
This a big guy. giant monster plant taking out its roots probably makes uh, a whole lot of sense, honestly. There's another one of these pineapple plants or something. This is where everybody's going to insert the uh, pineapple pan meme. Or is that over already? I think that was long over. one at a time, or all of them together, or sorry, each one of the roots one at a time, or all of them together, that's something that I'm genuinely curious about, okay, there's another one of those, reorganize these things, which again gives us a pretty good amount of studs, Okay. That's number two. Uh, that's number three. Big giant monster plant has been spawned. And so we defeat the second part. That's pretty brilliant. And there's only one more to go. You do want to pick up that blue stud there. That should help us out with our true wizard rank that we're aiming for. Enlisted is the free rank. Okay, we're not really getting a lot of studs right now. We're only getting silver ones, which is not great. Okay, I guess we're supposed to go defeat this other uh, route before we can proceed. Can we get more studs from this, I wonder? Oh, we might be able to, actually. There we are. Sweet. Whoa, okay, that gave us a lot of studs. Thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. Okay, a few more studs. Don't mind if I do. Now there is something hidden over here, but we need those uh, spectacle glasses for that, which we currently do not have. So for now, we just have to carry on. Okay, blue stud in the corner there. Make sure to pick that up. Is this not a silver Lego object? Why can't I use Reducto on it? Hmm. Maybe we're supposed to use Reduct on this first. Huh, what's this chain? Nice! Blue stud. Pretty cool. There's another one of those yellow plants. Okay, so now... Should be able to use Reducto. Grab the goggles. And then we should be able to proceed this way, correct? Find whatever it is that we're supposed to assemble over here. Uh, I don't even know how to describe that. It looks like a, maybe a bird keeper or like a bee keeper or something. I don't know. It's a giant box. Ooh, cool. We got Professor Spraffin Lock. Very neat. Okay, so we got a character token from that. That's pretty cool. Okay, and so we have defeated all three roots of the massive giant plant monster. And now, I guess we should be able to proceed. At least in theory, that's what's supposed to happen. We'll see if that's the case or not. So before we even go for that, I do want to activate this, because this is the last one of the plants that we needed to activate, and we get a house grass for that. Sweet, we actually get the Gryffindor uh, one activated. Okay, neat. We get a whole lot.
modest studs. Awesome. Very, very cool. And even more studs as a reward. We're doing another blue stud as well. Okay, I don't know what... That was a very sudden transition. I don't know what that pink platform is all about. It seems like we can spawn a few of them. There's another one right there, but I just don't think we have the right characters, I guess, to interact with that yet. Hopefully as we go on, we'll unlock some character that is able to, I guess, maybe like conjure up some spell or something like that onto those platforms. I feel like for some reason it wasn't. Isn't that a teleportation point? And wasn't Dumbledore able to travel in those? I want to say that he was. I just don't remember what they call them. I, I want to say like phase point? But that might be just too much marble talk for me. Okay. Managed to get that all cleared out. What about this thing? Let's see what we have over here. Okay. It seems like some sort of a machine, because I saw two wheels for sure. Oh, it's a hot dog stand! Of course! It only makes sense! Ooh. After all! On such a gloomy day, everyone wants to have ice cream. It's Hagrid. Aww. What? Why are you next to a giant spider? Oh no. This guy's just like just monetize everything, huh? He's like perfect. Did you just give him an idea of inflating the the spider? Is that what he did? That's pretty messed up, Harry Potter. Not very heroic, I would say, but maybe that's just me. Okay, so now we need the ability to be able to dig that, and we can't, but luckily Fang is around, so he can help us with this. Right, Fang? Sweet. Thank you. Okay. So now Professor Slughorn should be able to grab this platform. Do, 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 do. March that. Oh, I thought it would go into some sort of platform over here. Sweet! 45,000 points do earn us the very, very, very cool reward of true wizard rank, which I definitely wanted to get because I was really hoping we could get that uh, in order to get a gold brick here today, because obviously we're aiming for the 50 gold brick mark for today's episode. That's our kind of significant achievement here for today. That would be awesome. Okay, so I think we've cleared out just about everything that we could, at least for the most part. So... I am still curious as to, like, what the heck is that ice cream thing for that Harry Potter's carrying? Like, the blue ice cream bar? I'm guessing it has some sort of significance, but I wouldn't even begin to be able to tell you what uh, you're supposed to be able to use that on. Okay, there's, like, a plant here. Let's see. Cool. A bunch of flowers sprouting from that. <laughs> Come on. Yikes. And she found on the stairs. There we are. Wait, what? Where did that blue stud go? That would have been nice to keep. Oh, there's like a whole other area. Holy, there's a giant massive area that we have in here. Lord, yet. Yeah. Uh, I don't need to post these guys. I don't even know. Looks like maybe. Okay, there's definitely a lot of bits and pieces that seem to have spawned. There's just so many different opportunities to get a lot of studs here. 
This is not one of those levels that I would say is like, oh, this is a really tough level to get True Wizard on. Because there's just so many opportunities to get True Wizard rank. It looks like we're probably supposed to find a cauldron. There's different like, components for what seems like uh, a spell of some sort. Or, sorry, a potion of some sort. Yes, we can lock Fang now. It's going to be awesome. And now we know what that blue ice cream bar is for, because it's actually used for one of these potions. It all makes sense now, doesn't it? So obviously we can go on ahead and water these plants here in order to get even more studs. Or maybe, actually, there could be a student in peril, actually. Hmm? Would not be surprised. in peril. I guess that's a good thing, clearly. And let's see what this potion is, because I honestly don't remember what this one adds up to. Oh, nothing. It adds up to a big boom shakalaka moment. And we earn this platform that we need. Da, 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 da. Is he trying to use spider poison or something? From the giant spider? This is just beyond gross. Heck, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh. Awkward. Real awkward. some sort of an idea. disgusting thing we've seen so far so hey there you go so we got ourselves a trophy earned which is brilliant we got professor sprout unlocked so that's very cool we also got bang unlocked so that was extremely awesome and then of course we did manage to get our true wizard rank so that's fantastic we will indeed be getting a gold brick for that so i'm very very excited uh, to report that we have indeed wait for it crossed the 50 gold brick mark let's go Fantastic. 52 gold bricks collected. So let's see where the story takes us next. Oh, okay. Right to the outskirts of Hogwarts. So in the next episode, we shall find out what is next for our heroes as we continue through year six of Lego Harry Potter.